Are you thinking of going to Gibraltar? Well, good choice. Enjoy the walk of Gibraltar. It's a nice walk, I would say. But what is even more interesting is finding a SIM card for when you're in Gibraltar. But there are some things you actually need to be aware of before you actually buy your SIM card. And if you're planning on roaming with your European SIM card, there are some things you need to know as well. So in this video, I will tell you all about mobile data and SIM cards in Gibraltar. So let's just get started, shall we? Hi, it's Otto from Fontovici. And today we will be talking about SIM cards in Gibraltar. But first, we have to define Gibraltar. Gibraltar itself is not a country. Instead, it is a British overseas territory, which means that it is not a country and it's also not part of the European, no, not European, it's not part of the United Kingdom. However, it does fall under the legal jurisdiction of the United Kingdom, which means that when this video was recorded, it was still part of the European Union. Well, as you probably know, the UK is leaving the European Union at the end of 2020, so December 31st of 2020, and then they are not part of the European Union. What does this mean for those who have a European Union SIM card? It means that after, or starting on the 1st of January 2021, your operator might charge you for roaming in Gibraltar. Right now, it was part of the Roam Like at Home regulation from June 2017, which means that you should be able to use your domestic allowances when you are in all the European and Union countries or European economic area uh, countries as well. Starting from next year, 2021, that may not be the case. It really depends on your operator and the deal uh, the UK and the European Union will strike, but even then it will depend on your operator as well. So be aware of that before you decide to go to Gibraltar, Rome, and then you get an expensive roaming bill in, you know, 100,000, no, not 100,000 euros, but in the thousands of euros or even 100 uh, euros or a bit more. So be aware of that. And the same is also true if you get a SIM card from Gibraltar and you want to go to Spain, France or wherever, then as of next year you cannot or you may not be able to roam for free anymore. So that's something to be aware of. In 2021 when there's more information about the world, roam like at home regulation or stuff, I'll make an update video of Gibraltar. But for now let's just talk about telecom operators in Gibraltar. You only have one option, that's right, and that's Jeep Telecom. And since Gibraltar is such a small area, it's quite understandable that's just one option here. You can get a Jeep Telecom for a whopping 25 British pounds, which sounds super expensive if it was just for the SIM card, but you also get 25 British pounds in credit when you buy the SIM card. So that's a nice, well, I'm not sure if I would say it's nice, but at least you get something back for your 25 British pounds. You can get the Reload Scratch Card for 10 British pounds or 25 British pounds, and they are sold all over Gibraltar. With Jeep Telecom, you have five different data packages, which are 10 British pounds, unlimited data, although they say it's unlimited data, you get 3 gigabytes of high speed data, then it's taller to 128 kilobytes per second, which is quite slow, until you have reached 10 gigabytes of data, and then your speeds will be reduced to 64 kilobytes per second. And all of this is all valid for 7 days. For 10 British pounds, you get 1 gigabyte of data for 30 days. 14 British pounds, 2 gigabytes of data for 30 days. 17 British pounds, 4 gigabyte of data for 30 days. And 29 British pounds, 10 gigabyte of data for 30 days. Like I said, that's just one operator, so that's your only choice. So if you go to your Volta before 2021, you can still roam for free. After that, you may not be able to run free but that will be a new video and when the new video is up you will see a notification up here and if there's no notification there that means there's no video up yet <laughs> so that's all you need to know about sim cards in Gibraltar if you thought this video was insightful like the video comment down below if you're gonna get a local sim card but if you're just gonna roam with your provider when you are in Gibraltar and make sure to subscribe to this channel phone to where I talk about local sim cards all the time but not just talk about local sim cards no 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 I also so try them out yes i do local sim card reviews to find out which sim card is the best for you but i also talk about mobile hotspots international sim cards and roaming with your provider because roaming doesn't always have to be super expensive and i also do the same on my blog at phonetourist.com but then in written form and a little bit more in depth with some background information regulations and stuff like that but that's just the nitty-gritty for when you actually go to the destination or when you're already in the destination that's it for today and so see you in the next one Bye-bye.